I took the best rated coding course on Udemy. Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I wanna share a story of me getting into coding and acquiring a totally unfamiliar skill during a full-scale war. In case you're here just to get the raw feedback of the course in particular, please fast forward the video towards the end. And now, back to the entire story. It all began somewhere around January 2022. I mean, obviously thoughts around coding were always roaming around since it's the most convenient type of job you can get, by all means, in my opinion. But January was when I actually took action and completed my first coding class ever. Little did I know at the time that Russia will invade Ukraine on February 24th, 2022. Decision. The realization of having the desire to pick coding as a career choice came to me at a point where I kind of reached peak income in Turing and the idea to have a remote lifestyle is extremely appealing to me since I want to spend some time traveling the world and simply experiencing, if you can say so. The obvious next step was to pick an actual programming language because there are tons of them to choose from. Thankfully for me, it was pretty easy. Since I'm a hardcore Apple fan, the god told me to look into mobile app development for iOS. And the fact that I have already used a MacBook just simplified it. Besides that, the idea of being able to create your own full-scale product from the scratch was amazing. Next step was to find out the most substantial and high quality online course. And being a Udemy instructor, it was like the first and last place for me to look. Eventually, I've picked Angela Yu's iOS Development Bootcamp, which is considered one of the best online courses that teaches you Swift. Process. First of all, I had to come up with a plan and a tracking system in order to be able to at least approach such a huge challenge. I'll be honest with you, it was quite stressful at the age of 25 to acknowledge that even though most of my life I've been studying, it was hard for me to tackle this entire process by myself while maintaining motivation to keep going. In order to keep myself within some borders, I have outlined a schedule, which I had to follow with weekly milestones. That actually helped me a lot. Even though I have missed a deadline or two, I was still able to complete my studies on time and meet the major deadline. A little thing I'd like to mention is that you shouldn't try your best in finding the perfect course that would have everything packed in and would be that one-stop shop for you. There is no such thing in coding because one of the most important skills you gotta get is being able to find the needed info from different sources. Don't fool yourself into getting one course which has it all and lending a job right after. Everyone who claims that they'll teach you coding in 60 to 100 hours or something are simply lying. You wouldn't be able to properly teach it. The only thing you would be able to do though is just to copy whatever that was shown to you. Programming is a way of thinking and in order to develop it you have to devote around five to ten thousand hours and that, that's the only way. There are no shortcuts. The struggle. Oh that's probably my favorite part because such a lucky guy like me had a bunch of struggle as usual. Total disappointment in yourself and shocking feeling of being the dumbest in the room. Thankfully, that is something that goes away over time since you keep practicing and your understanding of what's going on improves. But a nice side effect of it is that you start to getting used to learn new stuff, which is kind of important in life. Lack of motivation as challenges arise while the desired result remains distant and the only way to deal with this is to take an, an extra look at your schedule and remind yourself of the progress that was already achieved. At least that's, that's what kept me going. I, I, you know, I'm just too greedy to lose all that work. But there's also the upside to it. I really enjoyed the community of self-taught devs. It is so inspiring to interact with similar guys like you who have different backgrounds that are not related to programming having such strong community of people that have the gut to take action in order to improve their lives it's just incredible not only you help each other along the course with tasks 
explanations, but it also shows the possibilities of a human being. And seeing that what you desire is achievable and the rest is excuses, you know, I think just that has a huge impact on overall success of the student. Once you firm your knowledge on basic concepts, you start experiencing the joy of having a little bit more expertise on the topic than the majority of people, which unravels a huge amount of opportunities and new connections. It's not just about being well-rounded, it makes you develop in various factors and benefits your brain. War. The full-scale war in Ukraine began by the end of my second months of studies and I were probably 20 to 30% through the course. Losing the job and basically having the entire life turned upside down, I can tell that being committed to this course kind of saved me as much as it could. Instead of falling into the pit of panic and self-pity, I was able to switch my focus to my studies and distract myself at least a little bit from the darkest times in my life. Graduation. You know what they say, once you have developed a plan, you gotta stick to it. And I did. On May 16, 2022, I have completed the last section of the course. Honestly, I was so excited that I actually took the time and printed it out. Raw feedback. So now the main question we have to address is whether I would recommend you this particular course or not. The short answer is yes, it's definitely worth completing, especially when you buy it on a discount for $20. And Udemy has a plenty of discounts, so just wait for it. The delivery is great, the structure is clean and straightforward, and the examples used are friendly and assistive. The only thing that I didn't like was that it was outdated here and there, and sometimes the project files which were up for download were broken, and you had to figure it out in the community by yourself. But realistically, it was a great problem-solving class itself. And naturally, as closer you come to the end of the course, you begin to understand that it is just the beginning of your journey and there's plenty of stuff for you to discover, repeat and learn. For example, I'm now completing Stanford Swift UI course and have an extra workbook with little problems to solve in order to practice the actual coding. And besides all that, I have planned a pet project that I'd like to upload to the App Store by New Year. And you'll be definitely watching another video about that. I guess that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I really enjoyed it. See you soon.